Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to create a Firebase database and use that database in our React Guest project. So guys, this is a very important video because you know in our previous video we discussed about React cannot or any browser application cannot be directly accessible or we we cannot uh, directly connect database to the React JS project. But after that, I explain you how we can actually uh, hide the sensitive data using the .env file. And today I'm going to discuss about how we can actually create the Firebase database and connect that database with the React JS project. So guys, uh, these are all the videos I have uploaded uh, in the previous video. Uh, we discussed about the env file that was also a very important topic. So today I'm going to explain you what is at first I'm going to discuss about what is Firebase database. So the Firebase database is actually a real time database is a cloud hosted no SQL database that lets you store and sync data between your users in real time. So guys, it's a really uh, first of all, it's a free platform from your Google accounts, you can uh, just simply go to this URL firebase.google.com and then you need to log in uh, and you need to first sign up and then log in your account and just you need to click on the get started. So once you click on the get started, it actually takes you to that Firebase by Firebase's databases and here you can create the multiple databases. So we can start a new project here and I'm going to name it employee DB. Right, guys. So uh, this is the name of our, of our database, and this is the project ID unique identifier. So now uh, I just created a new database. So all you need to do here, you need to just continue, and you need to select your account. So I'm going to select the free default account. So let's go. So now it's creating the database uh, for us, and it's a no SQL database. So it's really uh, you can uh, create the database tables, and you can. Uh, insert the data from here and you can also sync your data and you can also send the request uh, get calls post calls, update calls delete calls all the calls you can perform action perform here so what is firebase used for it actually uh, is a firebase provides detailed documentation and cross platform sdk to help you build and build and ship apps on android ios and the web so we are in this example we are doing for the web and it's very uh, simple environment. So congratulations, guys. Now your new project is ready to go. So here we go. So now you can create, you have the new database. Now you can create multiple tables that and add data in it. And you can also do some settings. So first of all, I, here I will go and I will click here at the top. So you can see the project settings. You First, you need to uh, see the project settings. And all you need to do is you need to click here and because we need to generate a code so here we need to pass a name here we need to pass some name so I, I'm going to say it employee DB so it, it actually registered uh, registered app name because first we need to register our uh, this uh, Firebase hosting for this app so I'm going to register app so so once we click here it actually going to give us a code uh, uh, we can use that embedded code in our application and we can use that uh, connection uh, it is going to uh, with this uh, code uh, we can actually create a connection between firebase database and our the react js project so i'm going to copy this code and we can use this code later on so now uh, actually uh, our database connection is created now i need to continue to console and i will go back and go on the project overview and then I need to, yes, now I will go in the build and here you can see Firestore database. We can do a lot of works. We have some storage hosting as well as some functions, some machine learning things and some remote configuration and authentication. If you need to apply, if you need to check, apply any application checks, we can check here. And now I'm going to click on Firestore database, right guys? So once I click here, it actually take us to the database. Now it's loading. Yes. So now we can create a database and we can cl click on the create database and here we can name a database. It's very simple steps. You can do it by yourself. You can create a cloud database and it's going to really helpful you in uh, doing a real time backend database, uh, not on your local environment, but on the clouds. So you can go with the production mode. No worry about this. Now you can choose the uh, location you can choose a, a nearby location so I'm going to choose the South Asia Mumbai because they are our neighbors so I'm happy to choose that so let's enable it 
because whenever you get some traffic if you choose the nearby location it's it, it's it's always responds very well and performance is also very good so choose the nearby location of of your current location now it's actually creating it will take a bit time so no worries about that so we now we're in the process of creating the real time database on our firebase cloud and yo so now you can see guys congratulations our database is created now i go in the rules here because i need to apply some rules i need to allow write and edit here so I, i'm going to say true so user can write and edit great i'm going to publish it so now user can allow read and write functionalities great guys so we have published this and now if i go back to the data now i'm going to create a start collection so a uh, start collection means i'm going to create a new uh, table for our so i'm going to say employees great i'm going to name it employees and now click on next so now you can add the uh, any data if you need to pass so default data i'm going to say id and i'm going to say name employee name and i'm going to say amir parvez great my name and now i'm going to say age and age is a type number which i'm going to say 31 and now i'm going to say email great guys and email amir at abc.com and now if i need to pass salary so i can pass salary and i'm going to say it number as well as i'm going to say something like this and now i'm going to say department so for department i'm going to say string is i'm okay with the string so i'm going to say development great guys so this is these are the basic fields uh, which i'm going to use it uh, we can add further more so so now our, our one data is going to be inserted in in this table as well as great guys so it's actually inserting and creating the table on good guys so now you can see here our table is ready our data default data is ready so now the next steps next steps are really important now i'm going to create a, a react js project and in that react js project i'm going to bind this connection with the, our firebase database and it's going to be interesting guys so thank you very much guys i, I hope you enjoyed this video and it is really going to be very easy topic uh, you you see how we can create the virtual or you can we can say the cloud databases on the firebase and now it's very easy uh, all you need to remember that uh, once you create this database you need to copy that connection which i just showed in the video uh, and now i will use that connection in our react js project and we can uh, insert update delete and perform the current operation thank you very much guys i didn't wait for the next video in the next video i'm going to do a real create a real time application uh, using the firebase database have a good day guys and yes don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on my videos thank you have a nice day